Today we're continuing in the Multiplication and Division Strategies Unit. Our learning target is I can solve division problems with two-digit divisors using partial quotients. This learning target is very similar to yesterday's work. You were dividing yesterday with a one-digit divisor using partial quotients. So we're using that same strategy of partial quotients, but instead of a one-digit divisor, we're gonna use a two-digit divisor. So keep in mind we're using the same process. Here is our first um, problem. Look in the right top corner. 952 divided by 28 equals S. Of course, S is our variable that is representing the unknown quotient. Take a minute to set up this division problem as you would to solve using the partial quotients method. Pause the video if you need more time. Did you set up your problem like mine? your dividend inside the divise, uh, dividing bracket with your divisor on the outside and your vertical line to organize your partial quotients. Do you have enough space to show your work and your thinking? Excellent, now let's get started. Just as we do with a one digit divisor, we're gonna be using our friendly multiples, um, multiples that we can typically do using mental math um, I often like to use friendly multiples such as 2, 5, or 10. And I also need to be looking at the place value, the largest place value, so I can be considering which multiple would fit best. So looking at 952, I see it's in the hundreds. I know that 28 times 10 is 280. So I know I can do at least 10 groups of 28 in 952. So I can go ahead and put my 10 out with my partial quotients and subtract 280. <clears throat> I have 672 left. Can I do another group of 10? Yes, I can do at least 280 more, another group of 10. So this should look very similar to the one digit divisor, it's just we're now working with two. Can I do another group of 10? I sure can. Great job. I have 112 left over. How many more groups can I do? Not another 10. I'm gonna use friendly numbers that I know. I'm gonna do 28 times two, that's one I typically like. Eight times two is 16, two times 20 is 40, so 56. I can at least do two groups of 28. And I have 56 left over, so I can do another group of two and now I've divided 952 evenly into groups of 28. So how many are in each group? I now find the sum of my partial quotients, 10, 20, 30, 32, 34. And that is my final answer. So very similar process with partial products. We're just using the two digit number. Again, look for Think of uh, multiples of 10, perhaps. Um, those are friendlier, or two, maybe even multiples of five. So be thinking of your multiplication facts. Let's do another one. Here's one with a two-digit divisor, but we have a four-digit dividend. So take a minute, pause the video if you need, and set up your problem to show what this would look like to solve for partial products. Did you take your dividend and divide by your divisor? Great job if you've remembered your vertical line. Now, we want to think, how many groups of 13 will go into 1,118? 
So I can see it's in the thousands. I can go ahead and think 13 times 10 is 130. I can do that, but that's pretty low. Let's see if I do 13 times 100 is 1300, which is too high. I may want to consider times two. 13 times two is six and 20, so 26. So 13 times 20 would be 260. And I would say we could have at least 20. I could consider 13 times three because I know that is 39. Again, a multiple that I could solve pretty easily for myself. So consider what works for you as a mathematician. 13 times 30 would be 390. So I'm gonna use this higher multiple because I can see that it will go to, into it at least 30 times. So I'm gonna subtract 390. And I have 728 left over. Can I do another group of 30? I sure can. I have 338. Can I do another group of 30? No, that would be too high. So let me go back over at my work and my previous thinking. I could do 13 times 20, which gives me 260. So I could do at least a group of 20. And I have 78. I can go back to 13 times three, and I know there's at least three groups in 78, so I could subtract out 39. That gives me 39 again, so I can group that into three more equal groups, and now I have divided evenly into 13 groups. So how many would be in each group? I take my partial quotients, just as I've been doing, and I want to sum, create a, determine the sum. 30 plus 30 is 60, plus 20 is 80, 83, 86. So I know that my answer is 86. Again, with all of these, I can go back and represent in equals 86. So just remember that that variable is representing a number. So today, as you work on your division problems, just as you've been doing, continue to work in this partial quotients process. Be thinking of multiples that are going to be easy to use for you. And remember that your partial quotients might look different from someone else's, but your final quotient should look the same. So now you're going to try some on your own. Again, you're going to be solving division problems with two digit divisors using that partial quotients method. If you need extra support, please watch the video again. Stop and rewatch as needed. And if you still need support, please reach out to your teacher.